Well, it was a morning of action here at Werribee. The weather didn't quite put its best face on, but nonetheless, the two Cox Plate hopes, Mullif Kalof and Side Glance, were put through their main final paces towards Saturday's race. Craig Williams came to Werribee to ride Side Glance. He didn't really get to have a good go on Side Glance at Mooney Valley last week, but everything worked out today, and he's pleased with its progress so far. I thought it was really important to come down this morning. Um, he, he ended up, uh, I ended up spending a lot of time with him. My last impression of him when the saddle slipped gives me no guide at all, just that he really takes a, a really keen hold. Um, and this morning he was no different. Um, he, was, he was quite aggressive um, in his first lap and, and in his canter I was able to get a, a better understanding of him, and uh, in, especially in his work. So I think t this morning was uh, very important in regards to, uh, to getting to understand side glance um, going to um, Saturday's Cox Plate. Stephen Arnold will be aboard Malif Kalof in the Cox Plate and even though some bookmakers have it as a 100 to 1 chance, that's not worrying Stephen Arnold at all. My job's pretty simple, I've got to ride the horse, I don't, I don't care what price he is, I'm just employed to go out and give him the best possible ride I can and, and finish, you know, give him every chance, so to me that's all irrelevant. But he seems in good order, his fitness is good, um, moving well, so you know, if he, it all comes down to whether he's good enough on the day. Uh, from that gate, he should get every chance to, to see, you know, to see uh, where he measures up. Looking towards the Emirates, Melbourne Cup and Trey Blue arrived here at Werribee on Saturday. Gay Waterhouse made the trip here this morning to have her first look at the colt. What a gorgeous horse. I love the way um, my rider, Ryan Pendergast, uh, you know, had him sort of just hacking around and he, he, he arches his neck and carries himself. He's terribly light on his feet. He's still quite a young horse. I mean, he's only three by in Europe. Um, so you can see when you look at the other horses compared to Trey Bleu how still immature he is. But I gave a hark back to when I had a horse called Nothing Like a Dane and he ran. He didn't have the preparation this horse has had. This horse had a sensational preparation for the cup. We've had a lot of rain around Melbourne overnight. And should that continue, Gay's thoughts on Fiorente in the Cox Plate? I don't think it'd be a problem. You know, these overseas horses race in all conditions, don't they? I mean, you know, half the time in Australia we've got no idea how wet the tracks can be over there. Get back on track, Victoria. The Spring Racing Carnival. It's time for some real entertainment. Visit springracingcarnival.com.au. You know you want to.